All right, so we got split squat jumps in the program. I'm gonna give you a bonus. I'm gonna give you a couple variations of jumps that I like. You'll notice there are three sets of three each leg. It's low volume, and that's because we want you going all out. Um, we put minimal jumping in the program because if you are jumping to full capacity, it is very straining on your nervous system, very taxing. It's hard to judge whether your players, if you're a coach, say, if your players are jumping as hard as they can or if they're just kind of going through the motions or putting a struggle face on. If you, know, if you are a coach and you're trying to coach kids, the best way to do that is to measure their vertical jump or to measure their broad jump have some sort of competition built within it. Try to get to the highest box jump they can get and compete with the other kids. It's kind of like you never know if your kids are sprinting until you bring the stopwatch out. Because not every kid likes doing sprint workouts, but every kid wants to have a fast 40 yard dash. So same premise here, but I trust if you're on this program and you're watching this, you're gonna be giving your all because that's why you're here. Now, split squat jumps. I'm okay with you resetting and not uh, immediately going into the next leg. You'll see, you know, every little fitness influencer doing this number here. This isn't making you faster or stronger. It's a nice little rhythm jump, you know, you get a little bit of a coordination there. I'm talking and I'm okay if you reset. You can try to bounce up. Once you get used to the skill, you might be able to, boom, go explosively into the next one, but it's okay to reset. Three sets of three that each way. Stay with me here. You can get a bench or anything roughly the same height as a bench, that kind of knee height. One leg up, same thing. Three reps each leg. That wasn't a very good one. Okay. I love those as well. I know I mentioned briefly in a different video, but I would choose all out jumps over Olympic lifts any day of the week for football players. The reason being Olympic lifts are a sport in and of themselves, an international sport. They're highly, highly technical. There's so much that can go wrong from lifting it off the ground with your lower back to boom, punching it up here. Hope you don't jam your wrist and then do all, you know, what you're trying to get from Olympic lifts as a football player is that triple extension from the, the ankles, knees, and hips. So, boom! What else trains that full power movement without any technique or learning curve, without most of all of those injury um, risks is jumps. There's no learning curve, there's no teaching curve. You say, you tell that kid, hey, jump as high as you can, touch that thing. Touch as high as you can on the wall, chalk your fingers up so you compete with yourself. Jump as high as you can up on that box. Oh, we don't have a, a tall enough box? Jump and try to land straight-legged on that box, as straight-legged as you can. That's what you're trying to get from a football player. There's so much of, the big hits really come because people fully extend their hips on contact of a hit. That's all that is. Boom. Um, so I just wanted to add that in there to tell you why we don't have Olympic lifts in there and why, you know, full effort jumps can replace that and keep you playing longer.